just a few words. I, I'm so flattered to be asked back. Um, it's so generous of Darko uh, and Mike to uh, have me back here after all these years. Truly generous on his part. And also a particular thrill for me to come back when the theater is being led by him. I admire him so much. Um, and I'm so proud that since I left, it's been in such good hands. And I know some of you have been here the whole time. Very some of you. <laughs> oh, the stories we could tell. The meetings we were in. Oh my God. Where our hands have been. <laughs> it's, um, it's a thrill also to have this glorious cast of four to bring this off. I hope we can. And, and Alex and Fabio and uh, Matt to design it for us, uh, and John to do the sound design, which is very, very delicate and uh, a very uh, sensitive to the whole piece. Um, it is, as Darko said, an important play. It's amazing that the play still lives, uh, still has resonance, in fact, as he said, more resonance now in a funny way than perhaps it even had in the 60s, when I think it was hard for audiences to disassociate themselves from the playwright himself playing it on stage. Uh, uh, now the play can mean, I think, what it, what it really meant to me, what it really meant to say. And uh, hopefully it will continue to, as the years go by, that it won't just be a topical, a topical play. And it also moves Coward's image away from simply the, not simply because they're absolutely brilliant, brilliant plays, but the private lives and the designs for living and the hate fevers. Um, but into a realm where he can work off of that and move into something very deep and personal. So uh, it's a thrill to be able to do it. And um, thank you so much for being here to support us. It means so much to, to all of us.